Hey what's gonna guys Rafi here from IraFX along with Mr. Zebo welcome you to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial so in this video we're gonna be learning to make this quick zoom effect in a very simple and easy way so without any delay let's get started Alright, so I have a couple of videos in my project. Let me drag each one of the video to the right side panel here so that a sequence is created. Let me show you what this video has got. This is lady here, you know, walking and she'll turn around just like this. And I have a second shot, which is a closer shot. This is a close up of this lady when she's turning around like this. So let me cut the second, um, I mean, the first long shot exactly the the point where she's turning around like this at this point and I'll move the second video closer to this and now if I start playing this is how it's gonna look like so the transition has to be you know a quick zoom effect as soon as she starts she starts she starts turning around all right so in order to do that go to the point where the transition is happening at the center point here and I'll move three frames backward one two and three I'll move three frames backward I'll go to the FX panel and type in transform so you have this transform effect in the distort folder and drag this onto your first video just like this once you do that you can see that the transform effect is applied and click on this timer button here for the position and scale so that a keyframe is created you can see that a keyframes are created and I'll move um, two frames forward at this point here um, and I'll then change the scale value in such a way that it zooms in to the face of the lady and now I'll change the position value like this and I'll also move the x-axis of position in such a way that the frame next to it will sync in properly all right so you can see that um, you know the face of this lady is already turned to around 90 degrees so I'll cut the second video you know to this point here and move it closer so this is how it's gonna zoom in perfect so now we'll be adding some motion blur as soon as the zoom happens so in order to do that uh, let me zoom in a bit and uh, I'll go to the um, property where I'll uncheck the use compositions shutter angle and I'll increase the shutter angle to 250 alright so now if I start playing the video this is how it's gonna zoom in so you get some motion blur to our video just like this perfect so now I'll, I'll be adjusting and tweaking some values um, because when I move to the last frame of this long video shot you can see that the shutter uh, you know although we change the shutter angle um, we don't have a motion blur applied so in order to fix that I'll select these two keyframes and move until the end of the video just like this so that you know the motion blur is applied to the last frame as well perfect this is how the zoom happens now and this is what we require so this quick zoom effect usually works when the subject of both these two clips remain the same so in this case the subject is the you know face of this lady so we are zooming it onto the face of this lady and the effect is working quite well here so I hope you learned something useful in this tutorial and uh, if it helped you consider giving us a thumbs up and if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing you can always reach out to me on Instagram at VFX Guy Ravi Mr. Zebo, would you like to add something
subscribe for more tutorials all right so see you guys next time with another tutorial